Welcome to Let's Play Mirror's Edge. Now, Mirror's Edge is an older game. It came out in 2009. And so, um, the nice thing about that is that it will run really, really well on modern hardware. Uh, this will be the second time that I've played through it. The first time I played through it was on the Xbox 360, but I always wanted to see what it looked like on PC, uh, both from the standpoint of higher resolution, better hardware, as well as the physics support that they added for the PC version. Another nice thing is, um, you know, seeing how it works with the keyboard and the mouse as your controllers instead of a handheld controller on a console. Generally, first-person shooters work better with a mouse and keyboard. Mirror's Edge actually worked pretty well with the Xbox controller. It's uh, one of the better games because of how you actually play it, because of the kind of gameplay that it has. But I'm still thinking that the keyboard and the mouse are going to be uh, a superior control scheme. So anyway, um, Let's see, just a bit of commentary about the game. One of the things that was uh, played up when it came out is that it features a female protagonist, and not just a female protagonist, but an Asian female protagonist, which is unusual in the gaming world. I mean, we've had female protagonists, we've had Lara Croft, although until the most recent game, Lara Croft has been kind of a caricature. Um, but the most recent game, the, the reboot of the Lara Croft series, Tomb Raider, is uh, really well done and kind of shows how she became the, the strong, confident character that she is portrayed in in the earlier games. So if you haven't had a chance to play that, I highly recommend it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start the new game. Choose normal difficulty. We'll let this play through. The opening cinematic. Once the city used to pulse with energy. Dirty and dangerous but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Face. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around, dude. So get to her and just go with the flow, okay? So as you notice, the cutscenes are animated. That was... Some people didn't like that. Some people like that. I guess it's just a matter of personal preference. Probably makes it easier to create the cutscenes. Maybe they were on a schedule or a budget or something like that. You know, creating them rather than... You, you know, drawing them using 2D cell animation rather than rendering them in CGI. Another thing is um, some people, because of the way that the camera moves while Faith is running around and jumping and rolling and all that, <coughs> some people get uh, a little nauseous, you know, get motion sick. Uh, it's probably going to be more likely if you're watching this rather than actually playing it because, you know, at least when you're playing it, what you see on the screen has some correlation with what you're doing, so you kind of expect it, whereas if you're watching it, you don't. So, you know, be advised that it's possible that you may get a little motion sick, you may feel a little bit queasy while watching this. And if you do, you know, just pause it or maybe shrink it down for full screen so you've got like a, a static frame of reference so your brain doesn't think that you're actually moving when your body doesn't feel that you're moving. So we got to jump. Got to go basically through the tutorial here. Click OK. All right, here we go. I'm going to kind of speed through this here. Get after her. 
It's pretty clear they did motion capture for the uh, animation of people. So here's something that I noticed. If you look at the character Celeste, and again, here's a bit of a commentary on this. If you look at the character Celeste, she's obviously very fit, but you notice that her stomach wasn't like totally, totally flat. It's actually very realistic. So that's a nice little touch, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Going to suspend our disbelief here, because, you know, in real life you wouldn't actually be able to do that. But it makes for a fun game. One difference between using the keyboard and the controller is with the controller on the Xbox you have a range of movement, you know, left and right, whereas with the uh, keyboard, you know, when I'm, I'm strafing left, I'm strafing right, with the keyboard I'm moving at constant speed, whereas with the controller I can adjust the speed. So that's one thing where the controller might be a little bit better, where you're going across that pipe there, because if you're leaning over a little bit, you can move it a little bit, whereas with the keyboard you got to kind of tap it just to control it. So what you're hearing in the background there is the uh, smoke alarm going off. So my wife is downstairs cooking, and sometimes it sets off the smoke alarm. Oh, whoops. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. There we go. You have to hit those three keys in rapid succession. Whoops! Oh my gosh! Uh, I've been through this many, many times. You know, doing recording tests and everything, trying to get the settings just right, and I've never screwed up like that. Uh, now that I'm on the spot, I guess I make mistakes. Timing here is everything. There we go. See how things turn red? That's rudder vision. So basically it's a clue just to kind of help you as somebody who's not actually a runner to know where to go. Oh, I did hold down the key. Uh, yeah? Why is that not working? Let's try this again here. There we go. I guess I was holding it down too soon. Again, you know, here I am. Did this over and over and over again, setting up the recording settings, testing it out, and when it comes time to actually do it, I screw it up. So that move right there, where you run up the wall, turn around, and kick somebody. When I was playing through the first time, I did that once accidentally. I was never able to do it when I tried. I wonder if I uh, will be able to do it now that I'm using the keyboard and mouse. We'll see. All right, Faith. Let's run through some weapon disarms, just in case. And so here we come to the part where you can actually beat everybody in the game without ever having to shoot some anybody.
So now I've got a gun. I can shoot the gun. You'll notice the gun is empty. I don't have any... Oh, that's interesting. I ran out of bullets and it failed me. How very strange. But yeah, with the gun here, you don't pick up ammo. If you pick up a gun, all you have are the rounds that are in the gun. Once the gun's empty, it's useless and you have to throw it away. I'm just gonna throw it away. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. <laughs> again. Did this over and over again. There we go. Did you see how the gun turned red? Briefly? Gotta watch for that. Slow motion. So it's kinda like bullet time. a little bit of a different okay, mechanic than training, full of time in other games. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. Okay, I want to play the game. Give me your gun. Now, go to sleep. This really is a pretty game, though. I mean, everything is very stark. And and the thing about that is, is they were able to actually make it kind of low, you know, the poly not a lot of polygons, and still make it look really, really good. So it runs really good, even on lower-end hardware, even on the hardware of the time. I mean, my video card is probably about six times as powerful as this game needs to run. You can see physics with that plastic wrap. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure the birds are real impressed, mate. But once you finish showing off, you think you might concentrate on some actual work? Get Celeste in position for a handoff. You need to get the delivery to her. She'll be near the communications tower ahead of you. And hey, look at that. That is pretty. It's so much uh, more a bright and vibrant and colorful world than you usually see in first-person shooters. You know, there's a deliberate design decision, basically, to make certain things stand out. You know, most things are white or shiny, but you have certain colored things. The idea is to just draw your attention to certain things, because usually those are places that you can go or that will help you try to get where you're going. So the goal here is to try and keep your movements as smooth and flowing as possible. It's basically a parkour simulator, free running. A parkour and free running are not exactly the same thing. She's almost at the comms tower and you ain't. Get moving and give her the bag. Cell will take it from there. Another nice thing about this game is you can see that it renders your whole body. I have a shadow, I have legs. I'm gonna guess that if I could actually... Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed that before. I've got a guy watching me. Huh, news reporter. Hi, wait for the camera. Hello. We... Anyway, most first-person games, they don't render your body because generally you don't need to. But with this one, it's kind of important to sort of immerse you into being the character of Faith. So I'm gonna guess that it you know, in the game world, if I could actually see external to me, the whole body would be over there. Although there might not be textures on the face or something, because they don't need to be. More physics. Whee! Why 
Lars and Fizzard about you, Faith. Sounds like some blues are headed your way. News chopper tipped them off. Ah, right. That's that new chopper outside. You know, it's like I played through this bit a few times, and I never really noticed that chopper out there. Of course, I never stuck around long enough for it to be there. Okay, so here's this runner symbol. And here's a bag. So there's a whole bunch of these. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you can't, though. More physics. Here we go. Run away, run away. Wires are going crazy. Get out of there, mate. I'm Patrick Celeste. You there, Sal? What the hell's happening? I can hear gunshots and that bird seems a little too curious. Faith's on her way. Get your ass ready to move. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm actually going to have to fight because there's a couple of guys over there with guns and I won't be able to just run past them or they will shoot me. So I'm actually going to have to try and disarm. So watch. Biff. See if I can... Ow. Good night. Yep, I can see Faith now. Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Okay, cutscene. Hey, throw me the bag! Okay, I got it from here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Get out of here! Oh, more running. Whee! There's that bloody news chopper again. Here we go. This game is so pretty. Even for 2009, it is way pretty. Why the hell were they shooting? What did you do, Faith? Nothing. They just opened fire. Don't so know what the hell's happening. I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, Faith. Again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Anyways, it's uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. I'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topic Much for sure. sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Matured. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Mark. You off? Just get on comms and track me.
Almost there. Well, any time you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the first session here, and then we'll pick it up later. Thanks for watching.